Hey Cancer, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Let's get started with some mermaid guidance to give us focus. Where should we focus, Spirit, for Cancer? Friendship. So friendship is playing a factor in your love life. This could be them supporting you. This could be them creating interference. This could be about friendship going to the next level. What else do we have for cancer? Ask for help. So I feel like that coming out under this friendship is really about allowing your friends to support you. What else do we have for cancer? Dive deep. So I feel like some of you might be going through dark night of the soul or, um, you know, doing that internal work, trying to sort through some things that may need healing or acknowledgement, shadow work, and maybe you're going to need to rely on your friends to help get you through that. And it's okay. Like, it's okay to rely on your friends. It's okay. So why is this friendship here for cancer? In regard to love. We have the Five of Cups. So I feel like you're going through some type of loss. And it could be the loss of a relationship. It could be having regrets. It could be, um, you know, there's spilled cups here, but it's about recognizing what love you do have around you. So friendship could be really important right now. What else do we have? The 10 of wands. You have a lot on your shoulders, a lot. And it's something that you need to realize you don't have to do this all alone. You have support. What else do we have? Strength. You have the inner strength. You're going to be strengthened, fortified by your friendships. This could be about being there for somebody else, even, through these type of situations, this, this loss and burdens that somebody else is going through. Help them, helping them to find their inner strength. Could be your partner. Maybe it's about not focusing on the romantic part of your relationship, but about that support, that, you know, friendship. Why is ask for help here? cancer and we have the six of wands so I feel like this could be a little bit about ego it may be hard for you you feel like you need to do this on your own and that that's how you're going to have victory but spirit is saying you know it's okay to rely on your friends for support when you when you're going through this tough stuff right you're going to have victory, but you're going to have to ask for help. And this could be asking spirit for help. What else do we have? Queen of Wands. And so the Queen of Wands is very clear and focused on what she wants and what she's passionate about. But she also has, you know, she draws things near her, okay? 
that are going to help support her. Okay, we have the King of Swords. So, I feel like there's some type of decision that you have to make. And maybe it's just about letting go. Letting go and asking for help. That deep dive. This is really getting to the darkest part of your emotions, right? And again, I feel like you're going it's going to bring about, you know, some some pain and loss because it's like something that you have kind of buried deep before and just been carrying around. But in order to be your strongest self, you have to um, bring light inside and be able to move forward. Allow yourself to feel that pain so that you can go through that process. It could be grieving. I mean, this feels like grief. Okay, too many here. Why is Dive Deep here? For cancer and we have the hermit <laughs> that is diving deep that's exactly it there's answers within you there is healing there is um, you know this this is there's like this little snake here and it's like this poison you have to search it out so you can get it off your path, right? Or get it out. Feel it. Confront it. That's what it is. Okay, we have one fly out. Ace of Pentacles. This is, it's like you're going to recognize your true potential. When I see the Ace of Pentacles, it can be about opportunity, but within, it's about harvesting that potential, realizing a potential planting seeds, right? That are going to grow and bring you abundance. What else do we have? Eight of Cups. This is about having the opportunity to get into a place of fulfillment. This is, this is kind of sorting through your emotions and they're you know turning it's turning your back on it but it's about it's about really being able to recognize that these aren't bringing you fulfillment they're not filled and setting out on that journey to find what is going to bring you fulfillment and I don't know if this is related to your relationship that you're currently in. Maybe it's a relationship from the past. So let's get some clarification here. Why is this Five of Cups here for Cancer? And we have Justice. This is about balancing out, right? Moving on, moving on and balancing out and not dwelling on, on, you know, if this was somebody that hurts you, it's not about pursuing revenge or anything like that. It's about moving forward. What did I learn from this situation? Why is Ten of Wands here? And we have the King of Wands. And that comes out right over this Queen of Wands. So I do see a divine partnership here. But there's a lot of things getting in the way of it. It could be past hurts. And it's about balancing that out. It could be a lot of burdens on your shoulders. But I feel like this is you taking on those burdens. Maybe it's not meant for you to all, take all of that on on your own. 
So we have Leo here, Virgo, air and water, I mean, air and fire here. Let's see what else we get. Why is strength card here? And we have struggle, five of wands. So there's an internal struggle. You can't always be the strong one. You have to realize that. But I also feel like this is about you getting through the struggle. Resolving it, right? Why is this six of wands here? And we have the six of pentacles. So it's about that flow of abundance. That's about, you know, this, this card signifies like generosity and charity. But it's about being in that um, flow. And I feel like you are an extremely generous person. But you also have to be open to receiving. Open to receiving. Open to asking for help. Okay. Can't just give, give, give. You will get burnt out. You have to also be open to receiving. That's what's going to create that flow of abundance. Why is the Queen of Wands here? And we have the Ace of Wands. So I feel like this is a new opportunity, something that's going to kind of relight your fire. Your fire may not have went all the way out, but it was down to nothing, right? This is going to relight you, your fire. Whatever this new, maybe getting assistance is going to just create the motivation for you to move forward. It's going to be what you can build upon. Why is the King of Swords here for Cancer? And we have the Nine of Wands. So this is about evening out, balancing out. Balancing out the burdens. They're not all yours to take. You have to be open to receiving help. You have to let some of this stuff come off your shoulders so that you can see clearly, so that you can move forward. And I feel like with this dive deep, it's also about recognizing why do you, you know, it's about finding your self-worth because why do you feel like you have to take on so much? To prove your worth, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody but yourself. Why is the hermit here? And we have the Six of Wands. So we're getting repeating energies here. Six of Wands, Six of Wands. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. I mean... Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Okay. And we have the Hanged Man, Surrender. So this is about seeing a higher perspective. It's also about looking at it from a different perspective. And I feel like that's what this dive deep is going to do. It's about your own abundance, your own abundance and what brings you fulfillment. Why is this Eight of Cups here? And we have Reveal the Light. This is about enlightenment. This is about kind of getting out of your situation, stepping back from it at the very least to be able to see it clearly. Going into the shadow of yourself in order to reveal the light. I mean, that's, um, that's what I'm getting here. I don't see a whole lot of love here. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, let's get some guidance here. 
How can we find the love for cancer? Mystical wisdom here. Spirit, what guidance do we have to finding love? Finding love within for cancer. And we have resilience. Rise above tribulations. So I feel like this is, you know, saying it's that same hanged man energy. It's about seeing things from a higher perspective and sometimes accepting that some of the tribulations you've gone through is to bring about growth within. It's about, you know, you having victories so that you can, you know, find that motivation, right? This is about knowing that you can it's like seeing your strength. When you have victory, it's like, now I know how strong I am. Sometimes you have to have that physical manifestation of a victory. To kind of keep keep your fire going, keep you motivated, keep you um, on track for what you're trying to manifest. What else do we have? Angel of Miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. I don't, I don't feel like, and a miracle is something that is way beyond what you imagine. So I feel like this ask for help is really about opening yourself to receiving. It says open your heart and expect a miracle. You've given a lot. You've given a lot. You have to be open to receiving it. You have to be open to seeing the miracle. Angel of Miracles is saying it's possible. All things are possible. What else do we have? Friendship. Wow. Nurture your relationships. So friendship is extremely important. This is coming out twice here. You know, this is really feeling supported and backed up, right? Enjoying life. Nurture your relationships, okay? So this isn't just friendship. This is relationship. But it's talking about that connection. Relationships with family, friends, and your lover, right? Let's get some heart and soul messages to give us some further guidance here for cancer. It's funny because I just got done. Um, I'm not one that has a whole lot of friends or a whole lot of people I care about, but, um, you know, not that I interact with a lot. And I was tagged in a TikTok video. Oops, made me cry right before this. And I am Cancer Rising, so I think friendship is calling out to me as well. Spirit, what guidance do we have for Cancer? These are a little bit difficult to shuffle here. What guidance do we have for cancer? Okay, and this is the one that we have. Man, if I don't see friendship when I see this. It's like so light and happy. It says, sometimes the true purpose of things is hidden from view. Something doesn't quite make sense at the moment, but it soon will. All is about to change. A blessing is on its way and many more will follow. Soon you will feel as though it's raining rose petals from heaven. Wow. I feel like you know, it says nurture your relationships and you see all this butterflies, transformation, you see all this growth and abundance, right? 
flow, water flowing. I mean, there's challenge, there's mountains here, there's challenges. You may need to ask for help. But I'm also getting that miracles are coming. Things that you couldn't imagine. This is beautiful. Any other guidance for cancer here? Is there any other guidance for cancer? Okay, we have this one here. It says, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Therefore, be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Positive thoughts now will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. If you plant weeds, you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers. So, and that's what I was saying about the Ace of Pentacles. It's like a seed, right? And we're talking so much about, you know, the growth, nurturing your relationships and beautiful flowers. I mean, it all goes together. I don't see, I feel like this is coming out for all the signs, but it's like how you improve your love life is really important you know, looking at how to improve yourself, not change yourself for somebody else, but really finding love within. And, you know, they say giving yourself the love that you desire from another is what draws that from another. And then this could be within a relationship. And this could be if you're trying to, you know, find a, a person to share your love with. It's about really fostering that within yourself. But I do see the need to really support, allow others to support you emotionally. Uh, being open to receiving help, miracles, and also looking within and embracing the shadow of yourself. Embracing that. All right, that is the message that came through for you, Cancer. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.